A new star since Alpha 4.0 patch just dropped not too long ago. Let's see what's changed. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an Alti Argo Atlas in order to participate. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Guys, uh, testing focus for this one is uh, stability bug fixes, server meshing, uh, pyro system, um, and new locations, contested zones, and the jump point. I gotta say, the jump point last build was pretty smooth for the most part anyways but let's get straight into it features and gameplay under the gameplay category it says here player injury polish has been done it says increase player injury value threshold by 30 percent to reduce triggered probability this is an immediate change until a proper long-term balancing is conducted feedback thread will be available all right under location they said they've made further contested zone art uh performance uh polish Pyro station exterior performance pass and further pyro outpost polish pass. Under AI, it says they've implemented new NPC voice pack with many more wild lines and dialogue. I didn't notice this. The NPCs, there's a lot of new NPCs. There's a lot of NPCs at um, landing zones for sure. And they, they are very talkative. So it's really good. I think since server mesh, server mesh has really made a huge change in terms of uh uh, the NPCs for sure. Continues on Area 18 AI population and behavior update. Under Core Tech, further AI performance policy pass, uh, ship kiosk performance improvement, improvement uh, ensure local entities are spawned for inventory preview performance, further screen space reflection, uh, SSR performance, and polish. It says should also fix noisy and pixelated SSR um, issues here. All right, further 4.0 audio mix pass for interactables, UI, weapons, ambience, and dialogue. There's a few bug fixes for this one. They fix an issue where players are unable to control ship after contact with jump tunnel obstruction. They fix an issue where jump drive uh, that have transitioned from one system to another do not have authority on the server um, or client. They fix an issue where some spaceport uh, elevators will not list your personal or staging hangar despite being listed in the adjacent elevator. If it's an issue where the enunciated panel in the Hercules uh, series is blurry and stretched out and unreachable. If it's an issue where some objects can be thrown outside of the grid boundary causing um, obstruction. If it's an issue where jump points can be struck in the requesting jump phase. If it's an issue where Quantum travel markers are visible in the tunnel and when looking at the jump point in the UI cone, if it's an issue where jump point SFX are rapidly looping, cutting off. Um, hopefully that fix stays because it is kind of annoying. If it's an issue where a non-functioning hacking chip will uh, param description dropped from enemies and contort actors when held. They fix an issue where tuning VFX remain present when the ship is turned off. They fix an issue where AI don't attempt to loot ammo from corpse. They fix an issue where half buildings is missing its interior. Uh, now this is at uh, Pyro uh, Extra Small Outpost. Along with this is two client crash fixes, five server crash fixes, and a server deadlock fix. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.